Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to dye letters on a lacrosse head. I've done, uh, done a couple tutorials, and I taught you how to uh, cut your own vinyl stickers, or cut your own electrical tape stickers uh, and logos and stuff um, with the method that I use, but today I'm going to teach you how to do uh, text. So I've got just a white Evo TI here, and I'm uh, going to try and do some text. So um, I don't have a vinyl cutter, and of course most of you guys don't have a vinyl cutter. Um, so I'm going to try and teach you, you know, the regular person's way of uh, how to do this. So what I have here is a sheet of uh, black vinyl half-inch decals. I'll provide you a link in the description of where I bought these off Amazon. Uh, now these are great. You know, they're the perfect size. And, uh, you know, they really uh, they fit uh, primarily for the scoops. You can see they're a great size for the head. They're half-inch. Uh, again, link's in the description. Um, but the only problem with these is uh, they're not sticky enough, you know. Um, I've used them just by themselves, and uh, some of them came off, you know, even after blow-drying them or uh, whatever to make them stick on. Uh, they're just not great vinyl, and I haven't been able to find a better one uh, that has perfect letters like this already cut out. Uh, so in the meantime, I will show you what I've been doing to use these letters uh, to work on the head. Alright guys, so uh, this is how I cut my uh, letter stickers. So I've got uh, my sheet of vinyl stickers like I told you. Uh, this might be upside down for you guys, but I think we'll still be able to get the gist. So just like when I cut my um, vinyl decals for everything else, uh, what I do is I just take a strip of electrical tape and uh, put it down on my mirror. Just like that. And I've got my uh, X-Acto blade right here. And so... Uh, just cut some tape off one of the mirror and what I do is um, just like what I had done when uh, cutting out logos and stuff I just take the uh, vinyl decal that doesn't stick so well and uh, apply it down to the electrical tape just like that and then you just use that sticker as a template to cut out the letters. So it's uh, it's actually easier than doing the logos since uh, the stickers themselves are sticky. You don't have to put um, masking tape or anything over them to make them stay down. So it's uh, it's very easy to trace with your X-Acto blade. Uh, once you got the sticker down, so you just cut it out. And when I peel off the surrounding, you can see I'm left with my H. And then the best way is just pull it up a little bit off the mirror with your X-Acto blade and take a pair of tweezers and uh, just kind of slowly pull it off and you're going to want to pull uh, that st the sticker off that you used as your stencil and so when you're all done you're left with um, a nice looking letter and uh, you can just apply it to the head and to make it stick better you're going to want to use um, you know like a, 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 a hair dryer to, uh, to heat the sticker up and then press it down uh, so that is how I cut out my letters. Alright guys, so here is uh, the H that I cut out. I'm going to be doing a Hopkins die on this uh, this Evo. Um, so you can see that it's relatively easy to cut out letters if you have the stencil um, of the stickers that I gave you the link for in the description. And then what you're going to do is uh, simply apply the letter wherever you want to die it on the head. Just like that. Take a hair dryer, blow it over, heat it up press it on and then um, whatever color you put the sticker on is going to stay that color so I put it on the white and then I might dye it Carolina and pull it off it'll be a white H on a Carolina background um, so you can do different layers of colors this way and uh, it turns out really really nice so anyway guys uh, let me know if you dye any heads using this method let me know if you have any other methods uh, that you think I should share with people and uh, help you guys learn how to dye a little bit better uh, so stay tuned for more dyeing tutorials I did promise an Argyle one and a few other ones, so I'll try and get this to you. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a